Hey there, how's it going? Well, if you know of software or some sort of plugin for Premiere or some other software that can do what I'm about to ask about, please let me know. Okay, I'm trying to find something that can properly do color correction from VHS footage. One of the things that seems to happen with VHS footage is the skin tones get really greenish. So anything ranging from slightly greenish yellow to slightly reddish orange get shifted over. So yellows look kind of green, you know, yellows look kind of green, uh, skin tones look kind of greenish, and orange things look kind of yellowish. And I would love to find some sort of option that I could take those hues and just hue shift them just you know selective hue shifting right i've never seen it and so what i'm what i'm usually forced to do in premiere and i've tried it in after effects as well it's just as useless or you have to go through just as many steps and uh but what you have to do you can you can do a hue shift on the entire thing on on all of the footage and then fix the reds and the blues and the aquas, right? So you can do the sh shift it over and then you have to, to take anything that's purplish red and add kind of a yellowish color to it. So it won't be purplish because those are the only options they give you. You can take, you can take a color and add another color to it somewhere in you know in, on the color wheel you can add another color to it they don't let you take a color or a span of colors and change their hue you can only add a color to those it's weird i it's it's just seems like something that should be that should just come with these programs but it doesn't and it makes color correction really difficult um so I can shift the whole hue and then fix red and ranging from aqua to blue. Or I can go through and individually fix reddish orange, orange, yellowish orange, yellow, and greenish yellow. That's five different things that you have to go through and fix and hope that it doesn't degrade the 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 picture too much because when you whenever you do those kinds of color corrections it kind of there are some things that it kind of messes up about the color and there's not really anything you can do about that so if let's say i got footage from let's say it's something i got uh i downloaded the old vhs footage right that someone else has transferred. Well, most people, when they transfer VHS footage, I don't know why they do this, but they'll transfer it and, and then encode it at the, the lowest quality that they possibly can. And you see all those squares everywhere. You know, someone, there's a diagonal line and they, they move their arm up and down like this and you see all these, these squares around the diagonal pieces, right? You know? And then the weird color act artifacting and... If you try to do color correction via the ways I just mentioned uh, on that footage, oh, all of the artifacting, all of the squares show up even more, and it looks terrible. That's why when I do my Kazooms, uh, Mystery, Commercial Theaters, when they're taken from stuff that I've gotten uh, you know, online, I don't bother doing color correction on them because there's, there's no point. You can, you can never make it look right. The only thing that can be done and still look okay is do a full-fledged hue shift. And it does a hue shift on everything. Now a method you can do, you can do a hue shift on everything and then try to fix the reds and the, and the, and the blues and aquas, like I said earlier. You, you, can, you can try to do that, but even just a hue shift on some of this footage that people put out there bring out all of the artifacting and the squares and all that stuff. So uh, anyway, I've rambled on, rambled on along. 
I've rambled on long enough about it. If you know of any tools, please let me know. That would be great. Thank you.